letting the park quieten from the hotel window, I hear you softly sleep, amongst the cars and saluting songbirds. If a city whose size had scared me for years, right now it's a feeble evening roar, not unsimilar to a beach evening ending. On the table to my left, there's a magazine with a picture of a dead monkey, making a mockery of what I'd call art, but what would I know about the scene in this city that has swallowed up friends, lovers and family? Just give me a village the size of a teacup. But you're happier here, spread out with your eyes closed. I feel I should order a drink in celebration to welcome the summer whose first day is ending. But should you wake, you'd catch me, of course, and ask me the wisdom of drinking once more. back to yesterday's wedding, where we got drunk and fell over. I did my best to be polite to a family I'd never met, but on numerous occasions, I guess I could have tried harder. Of course, by the end of the night, I was best friends with everyone and everyone's wife, but right now I can remember their names no matter how hard I tried. As the sun glares through the hotel window,